Hey guys, Media Rebels, Chris Tomery here with this morning mountain weather update, latest data, latest trends. Here's what I'm seeing. So that uh, Christmas Eve uh, storm system, the merger of the two pieces of energy is trending slower and weaker, which means uh, ultimately 1223, 1224, lighter snow for the Wasatch because the development happens later, the low is not as pronounced, and the relatively lighter snows for the Tetons as well, although you will get some accumulation there. The heavier pockets of snow are going to be in southern and southeastern Wyoming and over parts of Colorado. Looking down the road, we've got a rich flow setting up with a strong jet for California and the west coast, for that matter. Pacific Northwest as well, 1227 through 1230, we could see some uh, heavy snow accumulation during that period. All right, here is water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, the oranges and the reds represent your drier air loft, your moisture is in the whites and the blues, the greens. The two pieces of energy, let me identify. So there's one and there's the other. Here's another low for down the road and the west coast. So ultimately what's going to happen, this low takes the southern track. This low comes in and moves down through the Intermountain West. And then eventually the merger happens in this area, 1223, 1224. But because it's slower and uh, it's just weaker, it tends to just skip over the Wasatch. It's not going to turn the winds as much. Um, which is what we need for good ore graphics. So uh, that's just the kind of the way it's looking right now. In fact, let me show it to you on the forecast radar satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. Low comes out of California, travels down through Arizona, heads towards the four corners. Here's the magical moment in time. This is Saturday at 6 a.m. You can, you can see both areas of energy, both areas of snow. One coming through the four corners, another one kind of dropping down through. And notice the spacing in between. That's the problem for the Wasatch. If the merger were to happen earlier and the low was deeper, you'd get more coverage and a better turning of the wind over uh, the Wasatch. That's just not the case. Um, and then, so there we go. There's Saturday, 1223 in the afternoon, evening, and there is some light snow over the Wasatch, just not as much as what we were hoping. Some light snow, light to moderate snows over parts of uh, Big Sky and the Tetons, but ultimately it's a development that matters. Here we are in 1224, you can see the low coming together over parts of Wyoming and Colorado. And even now, the track of the lows even further north. So that kind of pulls some of the snow even out of Colorado. And by the time we get to Sunday morning, really you're just on the backside in the Tetons, the backside in the Wasatch with just residual snows. Um, here we are on 12, uh, 24 late in the day. So Christmas Eve Eve and the snow's done in the Tetons, done in the Wasatch. Um, low is, is already making its move. So by 1225 Christmas morning, some very cyclonic wraparound type snow down through parts of uh, Denver North, um, up through Cameron Pass, southern and southeastern Wyoming. Low moves out, skies will clear um, on 1225 slowly. And there we are on Tuesday in the morning. That low is very slow to move through the, heart, through the heartland, but eventually it's moving out. Um, another area of low pressure hits the Pacific Northwest, obviously. You can see that precip up there. All right, jet pattern looks like this. So this is 1224 late in the day. And notice at this point, the trough, is, over the last couple of days I've shown you this, the trough is not as deep. Again, slower, not as deep, so ultimately lighter totals overall with this. And here we are at 1230, so very late in the period. Powerful Pacific jet ushering in moisture. We should have a pretty nice stretch of snow, 1227 to 1230 for Pacific Northwest, West Coast, and the Sierra of California with lower snow levels than, than the storm system we just dealt with. All right, totals, uh, period 1, 12, 21 through Christmas Day. Uh, in Colorado, 4 to 10, 4 to 12 inches for most places will do it. Hog it in through southern and southeastern uh, Wyoming, a foot or more. That's where you're going to see those heavy pockets. A lighter snow, light to moderate over the Tetons, Big Sky, Red Lodge. Light accumulations over the Wasatch. And that'll wrap that up. Light uh, accumulations for northern New Mexico. Now you're just too far out of the flow. Um, let me zoom in on that in Colorado. Again, Denver, you're looking down. You're looking west through the foothills and then up to the Continental Divide and then up towards, you know, beyond I-70. Uh, you can see how even the numbers versus uh, yesterday afternoon, last night when I updated this, have gone a little bit lighter. The upslope is a little bit weaker. The low's not as deeper. So a couple of inches for Denver, 5280. Um, looks like probably about a three to eight inch snow through the foothills and probably five, six, seven, eight inches for Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Longs, um, Eldora, and then back towards Summit County, Breck, Vale, Aspen, Snowmass, Steamboat, all sort of in a similar snowfall regime. 
Um, let me take you into the second period. So this is 1226 to 1230. All the actions on the West Coast, uh, BC down through uh, Washington State, Bachelor down into the Sierra. We're talking probably one to two feet for a lot of these places. And again, lower snow levels than what we just dealt with. So that'll be a good period for the, uh, for the West Coast in BC. In the Northeast, very light accumulations here. And again, this happens 1227 through probably 1229, maybe 1230 as a strong storm kind of rolls up through there, but it's very warm initially and probably all rain initially. And then during the changeover late in the period, that's when you'll get some of these accumulations. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.